Hey, it's Rob Cottingham from the Noise to Signal cartoon. I'm on the road. I'm in London, England uh, on, a, on a bit of client business, and I wanted to still make my deadline for the Read Write Web cartoon, but I was facing two big obstacles. The first was actually drawing the thing. I don't have my Cintiq, the graphic drawing tablet that I usually use, and I don't have any tracing paper. All I have is you know, your basic sketchbook and marker which is great, except I like to make a rough draft and then I like to trace over it uh, for the final piece of art copy. And when your rough draft looks something like this with all sorts of you know, hash marks and, and guidelines and, oh, I didn't mean to draw it theirs, uh, and you don't have a whole lot of liquid paper or anything to cover it up with, you're going to want to use tracing paper. So, issue. How do I actually draw the thing? My second issue, by the way, was how to digitize it without a scanner and without the Cintiq. That'll tell you in a moment. But here's the hack I came up with. I took my laptop, my MacBook Pro, the one that I'm recording this on right now. I opened up a really big text document. And I expanded it to fill the whole window. So suddenly this thing was throwing nothing but white light at it. I drove the brightness all the way up as far as I could and then I turned the laptop on its back. I backed it up against the mirror so that the keyboard part, the part that would normally be on the desk, was now backed up against the wall and wouldn't be tempted to uh, angle backwards again. And so here, here was the display. I put my rough draft on that, I put a blank sheet of paper on top of that, and it shone through beautifully. I could see the underlying artwork, and I could work with that, and within a few minutes, I had what I needed. Now, of course, I'm working on a computer. This is not a cheap piece of equipment, and I want to be very careful with it. I don't want to damage the display in any way. I don't want to press down too hard. So if you're the kind of person who mashes down with a marker uh, or who you know, works with a blowtorch, you might not want to use this technique. You also may want to, if you're feeling at all nervous about this, just do the very broadest outline so that you have your layout in place and then put everything back the way it was, and uh, work out the rest of the, your details in your finished piece of artwork. But this worked really well for me. One other hint, by the way, is when you do have your rough, uh, to give it a nice bold outline so that you'll be really able to see it uh, nice and clearly when you're, when you're working on your light table. The other question is how to digitize art when you're on the road and you don't have a scanner. The answer, hopefully you have a camera with you. The better the camera, the better the outcome. I happen to have an SLR, and it has what's called a prime lens on it. It's not the lens that came with it, the little cheapy uh, zoom lens. Instead, it's got a lens that lets a lot of light in. It was a $100 investment. It has been worth every penny. I can take much better pictures under much worse conditions. You want to shine a lot of light on your, uh, on your artwork. Lay it flat on your desk. You want the light to be as even as possible. Chances are that's going to be uh, a bit of work. You shoot it with the camera, usually standing over it, making the result as flat as possible. You want it perpendicular to the, uh, to the camera's uh, line of shot. And uh, open up Photoshop. You're going to want to do a fair amount of manipulation just to get all the whites as white as possible and all the blacks as black as possible. So you'll be working with curves. You'll probably be working with gradient masks so that some of the areas, the grayer areas, you're going to be doing a little more intense work on than the areas that turned out with higher contrast. Your net goal is a cartoon, a drawing, where the whites are sparkling white and the blacks are really, really, really black. And with that done, you can send it off to your publisher or just upload it to your own website if it's a webcomic of your own, and you are done. Thanks for listening. Check out robcottingham.ca slash cartoon to see the latest noise to signal. Take care.